Hey guys, it's Combat Saturday, and today I'm going to talk about the eight striking personalities. Okay, now um, I wrote my book recently, uh, Central Line Boxing, and in there I talk a lot about this. Okay, the eight personalities. So, um, what exactly are they? Um, it, it was actually thought up, um, but the, there, there are five personalities which comes from the martial art of Xing Yi Chuan. Okay, and that means uh, strength and will boxing, if you translate it uh, roughly from Mandarin. Okay, I can't speak Mandarin, but I mean, this is only what I, I know of the, uh, of the name. Okay, um, and uh, then there, there were some, because uh, Xing Yi was developed, Xing Yi Chuan was developed from uh, spear techniques. Okay, but because I want to encompass all different kinds of hand strikes, empty hand strikes, I included three more that might not be included uh, in there. Okay, so what I want to do is the whole, the whole idea of this is that we want to, we don't want to see styles, we don't want to see individual styles, individual systems. We want to group all strikes into these personalities. Okay, now. A lot of people uh, in the martial arts world are really obsessed with saying that their way is the only way. Okay, now I got into a discussion a while ago where I was discussing the concept of uh, vertical fist, and of course, uh, people also bring up the concept of the twisting horizontal fist. Okay, which you usually see in boxing and most forms of traditional martial arts and things like that. And people always try and argue about which one's better. Okay, well I say neither one is better because it depends on the situation. Okay, they're both good. They're different personalities. There's, there's no point. I mean, what's better, a hammer or a screwdriver? Depends on the tool, on, on the job, right? So, same thing with, with these, okay, with these personalities. Okay, it depends on what you're trying to do with it. Okay, neither one is better. It just depends on, on using the right tool for the right job. Now, if you, if you want to hammer in a nail with a screwdriver, I mean, that's your problem, okay? If you don't understand the proper use of the tool, I mean, that's on you, okay? Uh, uh, <laughs> what can we set up with that, okay? But each tool, each personality has its own uses, okay? So you can group them together and, and you, you, you can take the, the, the t if, you, if you practice multiple systems, you can take them and group similar strikes into each personality and go from there. And that way everything's going to kind of blend together, okay? Because I, I'll, I'll tell you this, I'll, learning multiple arts is no use unless you, f you find a way to actually use them together. Okay, if you can only switch from one to the next to the next, uh, you'll, you'll be so tense and uh, you're, you'll, you'll be so confused, it's going to be very difficult. So doing, doing this will help you to actually understand that, okay? All right, so that's the theory. Now let's go on to the actual personalities, okay? So what are they? We got eight in total, okay? We have chopping, all right? So that's the first, first one. So, so chopping, uh, well... It's chopping, okay? But it can be any any angle, okay? Now, in Sing Yi Chuan, when you want to do chopping, what's going to happen is that you will bring your rear hand up here, and then this will come over like that. Here, over. So this is almost like a, like a controlling hand as this one chops over, okay? That's kind of how it's done, all right? Now, that is certainly one angle of chop, but you can also chop up here. You can chop down here. You can chop horizontal, right? You can chop this way, you know, you can chop all kinds of different directions, okay? <clears throat> Just remember, it's the, it's, the, it's the personality, all right? You can chop up here, even if you look at a hammer fist, right? It's still a chop, okay? All this kind of chopping type motion, okay? Look at what the body's doing and then understand that that is, you know, the appropriate personality, okay? So that is a chop, okay? Any angle, hand, Fist, palm too. You can, this can be a chop as well. That way, palm heel chop. Okay. All right. Next up is uh, drilling, and most people are familiar with this one. Okay, we got our our drilling punch. Okay, very important with the drilling punch to make sure that uh, the elbow is down for the most part and it drills at the last second. Don't don't bring it out like this early because then there's no power and you're all open here. Keep that in and then last second drill. Okay. And generally speaking, when you're going lower on the body, you want your, your the uh, fist will drill a bit more. It's just the way the body works. Um, you know, probably uh, someone who knows more about biomechanics could tell you 
uh, more information about that why it works that way. But it, all I know is that it works better and it's more comfortable, it's more natural to just turn it over a bit more, okay? But regardless, that's drilling, okay? Now, in the uh, traditional Xing Yi system, what was gonna happen is that you will press down while this one drills up at that, okay? There's also a movement where you kind of reel in and then here, so like, like reel in, and then we call this horse kicks its hooves. So reeling in and then bang, there's that, that little drilling again, okay? So there's a core screw punch, okay? Next, okay, and, and of course, you, you, you know, even the, um, the feet can work as well. If I do a kick where I put my, my foot out and I drill it out like that, okay? Here, drill it out. There's a twisting, right? Boom. There's, again, that's drilling too, okay? Don't think it's only the fist, it can be the foot too, all right? All right, next up we have um, crushing, okay? And this is this is your vertical punch, okay? The other one was your twisting punch, this is your vertical punch. And this just straight out here. So bang, bang, bang. It can also be an elbow, it can be a headbutt, it can be a knee, all right? A lot of things you can do with it, but it's, it's basically going straight, straight ahead, straight towards the target and not with a twisting motion. So if I do a knee, for example, I want to use my hips to move forward. I want to drive that knee in like a spike. Get, get, get my, bend, bend my lower leg. I want to drive it in like a spike. It goes right to the target. It goes right to the target. The palm goes right to the target. There is no twisting. It goes right in, okay? Or elbow, okay? Yeah. All right? So any kind of cru uh, crushing, straightforward movement. All right, and uh, we and also don't forget headbutts too. Okay, and when you practice headbutts, um, it's good to just kind of slap your head a bit as you do it because you need to get your whole body behind it. But bang, right? So everything goes. Yeah. And then you know you got got a good hit that way. You know? Bang. Okay, and of course you can do it on the bag too, but uh, we're not going to do that today. But anyway, that's the way you can practice it in the air. Okay. Number four is exploding. All right. Um, and this exploding personality, now in the traditional form, you kind of reel in your hands and then you explode here. So you, 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 you compress the body and then you explode. See, so this is a parry and this is a punch, okay? But if I could hear, I'm, I might be, uh, you know, in a kind of a compressed position after I've, you know, blocked a shot maybe or slipped a shot, then bang, right? Bang. From here, I compress, I explode. Compress, explode. Okay. Bum, 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 right? So again, the same feeling, right? Because I'm compressing, explode, and there's a drill too. There's a drill, okay? So now, you see, I, I'm combining the exploding with the drilling, okay? There you go, okay. And uh, number five is uh, the um, crossing personality. I'm, I'm gonna have a list of all these at the end. In the uh, description so you don't have to worry about making too many notes okay um, number five is a crossing so any kind of movement where it goes forwards and sidewards okay so in the traditional Xing Yi what we do is this here see so I come here I I, I want to center here I open up my foot I bring my other foot in and I just set the zigzag pattern but, but I, I cross here so if someone's like off oh, like on the other side of me i can kind of get an angle there right right that kind of thing okay i'm taking the outside angle bang, right okay so that's kind of the uh idea there okay it can also be with a lead hand because um what happens too i don't remember the boxer's name i i, I don't remember it was, it was a long time ago um it was not duran but i, but I, I don't remember it, it, it was an old boxer okay back in the 80s but I, I definitely remember he do he do, do 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 this thing where he kind of went like that, sort of sort of like like a trapping motion, and then he kind of went into body shots. Okay, can't remember the guy's name, uh, but anyways, okay. Uh, but but anyway, that's now this is a larger motion, right? So if I was stepping through, um, in a linear manner, and I want to practice that crossing motion, I would do this. Boom, here, here. See. So I'm, I'm stepping through, crossing, stepping through with my guard hand, guard hand, crossing, okay? 
to crumble. So you're kind of, well, it can be a strike first, so you can hit the guy, or you can open him up, okay? That's close. Any kind of forward and sideward motion, it can be down here too, it can be down here, it can be up, up here, I mean, right? Here, any angle, whatever. All right, next up we've got uh, ripping, ripping, okay? And these are the ones which I added, by the way, okay? <laughs> because these are specific to hand uh, techniques and not really applicable to uh, spears, okay? So ripping, now you got your tiger claw, your dragon strike, okay, that kind of thing. You're ripping, you're ripping, okay? Sometimes if, I, if I'm in contact with someone's arm, I can rip it down, I, I, I can, this is called a seizing, see, grasping seizing strike, okay? Ba Bagua, it says the lion Bagua system. I can take, I can rip them down, and then I can chop or whatever, rip it down, or I can rip the neck, rip the face, okay? But keep in mind that when you, when you hit, it's first, you're not hitting with the fingers first. You're hitting with the palm and then you're ripping, okay? Very important, okay? So like here, right? right? It's like um, my balls over here, but if I go, see, I'm doing a palm strike here and then I rip, huh? rip, okay? All right, it works better on Bob, okay? I, I tried this on Bob, but you can't see him over there, all right? <clears throat> So that's the, the, the ripping strike, okay? Just remember, you make contact with the palm, and then you rip. Don't, don't, don't try and, and hit with the fingers like this, okay? Okay, and next up we have piercing, okay? And piercing, I was gonna, oh no, wait, I was gonna tell you something else. Uh, oh, um, not in the uh, Xing Yi system, but in some other traditional system, what they'll do is that when they practice that tiger claw strike, whatever, they'll do it a few ways. They can step through underneath. This is a dragon strike, actually. Or you can do a little parry and strike. Parry, strike. See a circular parry? Boom, there's a boom, there's parry. Okay. All right. And then, uh, what the hell was I doing? Oh, yeah. Uh, pier piercing next. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and and uh, this is the uh, fi finger jab. Okay. Now, keep in mind, finger jab, um, it has many uses. Going towards the body is great, soft tissues. If, you, if you're in the pocket, you're in close, bang, right? You, instead of doing a, a, a shell hook, I could do a finger jab too, just to admit. So you're not gonna like knock the guy out or anything, but you're gonna inflict some pain. So you're gonna go like, oh! And then that's enough to go like, bang, bang, right? Something of like that, right? <laughs> so, um, you know, you can use it as a, as a, as a uh, distraction hit. Okay, remember that the concept of uh, misdirection is a very, very, um, it's a very effective but often underused uh, strategy, okay? Alexander the Great one time uh, put his helmet on some other guy. So the enemy thought that it was him walking around. So they focused all their efforts there. But they didn't know that the real Alexander went downstream with a bunch of guys crossed over and then they flanked them. So you see uh, misdirection. Okay? We, 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 it works on a small scale or on a big scale too, okay? And so just remember that, all right? And so piercing, um, the traditional way is like here, here, here. Some people will bring it all the way around, so you get get more motion out of it. Go like wow, boom, 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 boom. You can get more uh, total total body energy that way to develop that. But then in real life, it's gonna, it's gonna be tight, right? Right? Bang, bang, bang. Right? <laughs> that kind of thing. Okay. Always make sure the fingers are bent too. Remember, you're not, it's not a power strike, obviously. You can't hit that hard with fingers, okay? You're just trying to inflict some pain. You can go for the eyes, the throat. So if you get on the throat, it's gonna go like, ah! And then you get in with the big stuff, okay? And last uh, is uh, hooking strikes, okay, hooking. So um, when, you, when you're looking at hooking, now hooks are, by, by nature, they are uh, uh, generally a close range strike. They, you can do long hooks as well, but generally speaking, they're going to be close range strikes. So this is where your pivoting comes in and the entire body. So when you're learning about hooking here, so so here, boom, the boom, 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 hooking, hooking. So so um an uppercut is completely vertical. Anything else is pretty much a hook, right? But I consider uppercut a kind of hook anyway, because it's still kind of going in a slight arcing manner. Okay, so but here, pivot. Pivot in the foot. Pivot. 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 So, in order to 
practice the hooking properly. What you want to do is just get used to moving the hands and torso by itself without the punch. So just one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, roll, 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 right? This kind of thing, okay? Um, it works well. Doing a head movement for close range uh, fighting is always useful because you know things are right there and before you know it, if this is here, if this is here, you're just gonna go right. So having that motion, loose, loose body. So I'm gonna come here, I roll here, bang, 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 roll here, bang, 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 right? So learn rolling, right? Slipping, slipping, duck, duck. Duck, come up on an angle, and get that rotation, okay? All right, so that's it. Um, those are the personalities, okay? You can put them all together in different ways. You can practice them in isolation. Let's say I want to do uh, chop, drill, crush. Okay, random, okay? All right, okay, so I'll go chop, drill, crush, right? <laughs> right, uh, let's say I want to do... Uh, uh, I don't know, uh, chop, uh, cross, crush, I, I, I don't know, okay, so here, so chop, cross over here, crush, crush, right, something of like that, you know, I mean, I'm just <laughs> thinking random, you know, so, um, you know, what, the best thing is to do is just to take these personalities, put it to paper, and put, and try and figure it out and see what works best, okay, and if you do multiple disciplines, look at it, dissect it, and try and break down and see which discipline, which personality fits this strike. All right, don't, don't worry about styles, which personality fits this strike, okay? Now we talked about hooking before with the body, but keep, keep in mind that a roundhouse kick is also a hook, okay? Because it's going on that line. So remember, it's not strikes, it's personalities, okay? And every strike can go in there in, into the given personality, if it fits the personality, okay? Group things in that way, and then everything will start to flow together, okay? And um, there you go, okay? A longer video than usual today, but uh, a lot of stuff. I was, it was uh, very important for me to cover this, okay? So as usual, if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll uh, talk to you guys soon.